A day celebrations have turned violent in Donetsk in eastern Ukraine. That's where thousands of anti-government activists have occupied the regional prosecutor's office and raised the flag of the self-proclaimed Donetsk Republic. Local health authorities say at least 14 people were injured. RT's Paula Slear witnessed the assault. Violence has erupted here in front of the prosecutor's office. As you can see, people are breaking up chunks of pavement and throwing it at the security forces and at the fences. A crowd has gathered. There are stun grenades going off, as you just heard. People are very, very tense here. It was a demonstration that started off relatively peaceful. People gathering to say and show support for the People's Republic of Donetsk. They then marched here to the prosecutor's office saying that they want to hear the same kind of statements coming from this office, which is usually quite supportive of Kiev. Right now we're hearing people saying fascist, fascist, accusing people here of supporting the fascist regime. It doesn't look as if the police is doing too much to control the crowd at this stage. All the windows and on the first floor have been broken up and as you can see, stones everywhere. Certainly there's a lot of anger and more and more people constantly arrive. What they want is the prosecutor to come out of her office and to pledge support with the people here. The crowd is starting to surge forward and they've actually taken up positions closer to the building. It's almost as if the people in the front row are holding shields and then behind them the crowd is moving. There are people inside the building that are calling on people to move backwards. I can see them through the windows. <coughs> there really is the strong smell of gas in the air. I've seen two people with blood on their faces being taken away from here. A lot of tension, a lot of confusion.